Hi Paul, Sister J. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We've come to the last part of our study uh, in uh, Nicodemus's life, and uh, we've looked at Nicodemus in John chapter three. We've looked at ne Nicodemus was religious. Nicodemus was seeking. Nicodemus was challenged. Nicodemus was loved, and then finally Nicodemus was warned. So let's come before the Lord, Lord. We just give you the prayers and the glory today. We thank you for your love and grace. And we pray, Lord, that you be in every word spoken now. And be with each person as they hear your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let's turn to uh, John uh, chapter 3, verse 18. John chapter 3, verse 18. So excuse me. And um, John chapter 3, verse 18. And it says, Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God's only begotten Son. So, it's saying that if we don't believe, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already. So if we reject Christ, then we end up coming under the judgment of God. I remember the story of some kids in a zoo were told not to put their hands through the barbed wire to feed the apes and uh, one child didn't listen and put some bamboo through us or something and one of the apes grabbed her arm and almost pulled it off she didn't listen you see to what people were telling her and God you, we need to listen to God he's telling us if we don't believe wrath is coming Matthew 3 7 Matthew 3 7 we read but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptized he said to them he said to them you brood of, brood of vipers who warned you to flee from the coming wrath you know John the Baptist is saying that there is a wrath to come okay Ephesians 5 5 Ephesians 5 5 okay It's not a question of fearing you into the kingdom of God. It's a question of informing you of what what is going to happen. Ephesians 5, 5 says, For if this be sure, no immoral, impure or greedy person, such a man is an idolatry, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes to those who are disobedient. If we're disobedient, we don't believe, judgment comes. Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Colossians 3 chapter 3 verse 5 and 6. Put to death therefore whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, evil desires and greed which is idolatry because of these the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient the wrath of God is coming Matthew chapter 13 42 Matthew 13 Matthew 13 42 They will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You see, there's judgment. Judgment to come. And we need to flee from it. We turn to John chapter 19. Verse 39. 
He was accompanied by Nicodemus, the man who earlier had visited Jesus at night. Nicodemus brought a mixture of mirth and aloes, about 75 pounds. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in the stripes of linen. This was in accordance with Jesus' burial custom and Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Jesus Christ, my dear sweet friends, was buried by Nicodemus. Nicodemus who came to Jesus at night. He came to know the Lord. He came to believe in Jesus. What about you? Have you been seeking Jesus from afar? Secretly, it's time now you came to be open with him and trusted in him. If we turn to 1 Peter chapter 1, 23. One Peter chapter one and twenty three. It says, For you have been born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. Have you been born again today? Has God spoken to you? Well, hallelujah. It's time you now trusted in him. So let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this amazing person, Nicodemus, a man who found you, who became born again by the incorruptible word of God and the Holy Spirit. I pray for each person who heard your word through this series, Father God, that you would bless them and encourage them, speak to them and strengthen them, and may they know your wonderful love and grace. I ask this, Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and for your glory, Lord. Amen. Amen. I hope that's a blessing. My Skype number, if you want my Skype, is jason.burns107. Jason.burns107. No capital letters. Jason.burns107. If you want to talk to me on Skype or get to know me as a friend. Alright? Jason.burns107. No capital letters.